some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... Well, everybody, it is the end of 2022. Technically, at the moment that I'm uh, producing this video, it is the 30th at uh, 9.20 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. But whatever. Let's get on with the uh, point of this video. It has been a long year, and there's been a lot of frauders that have come and gone. And some of them have been really bad beta boys and beta girls. But in this video, I'm just going to highlight one beta boy in particular. Let's rewind the clock back to nine months ago and meet Richard Swivelhead Silence Boy and relive the incident that even his fellow frauditors were disgusted by. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Anybody who's ever watched this beta boy knows how much of a misogynist he is. I mean, he's perfectly willing to walk up to a female street vendor like this and call her a perra, which is the Spanish term for a female dog, if you get my drift. Mira lo que haces para sobrevivir, que vergüenza. Yo no, yo no ando de ambulante. Lambo con ambulante, perra. Me tocaste, ya te voy a echar la policía, me pegaste. Perra, ahorita ya le voy a... Oh, poor baby. You weak beta boy, you're gonna cry over a single love tap? I mean, come on, dude. Don't do yourself a favor and don't even go into professional wrestling because your friends will be hitting you much harder than that. Try taking a leg drop from a 400 pound man like I have. It's not fun. I got assaulted by a lady. Oh, beta boy, do you want some milk and cookies and your favorite blanket to make you feel better? What happened? I was filming on the sidewalk and she saw that she turned and hit my hand. Are you okay? Yeah. So you I got it on video. Okay. You liar! Uh, nope. You were the instigator in this case. You called her a female dog. Do you need the ambulance or anything? No. Do you know where she went? She's over there, and then some other two guys wanted to fight me. Okay. So that's why I left over there. I'm, I'm over here. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you're okay. Um, are they still there? Yeah. Okay. What would you like to have? Do you want a private person's arrest? Could that be done? That could be done, but you're gonna be the one going to court. You place them in the arrest, okay? And understand that since this is a misdemeanor, not committing our presence. They also have the right, based on what their statement is, to place you under arrest as well. So, I would like to talk to them first, find out what the situation is, what happened. Even though I didn't do nothing, that's... Well, unfortunately, that's the portion of it. That's where it comes along to us. Based off the statements, based on what they're saying to us, we have to do an investigation. Let's step off the driveway. Right? Okay. So, tell me real quick, what happened? I was filming on the sidewalk. Uh, I mean, that's that specific person because you could do that. That's public. Yeah, of course. She comes out to my camera and smacks my hand. She smacks your hand? Yeah. What, what was her reasoning? Because I was filming there. Okay. You have every right to film, but you don't have no she right. she ask you not to film or anything like that? No. She, she just came up to you to sit Yeah. Okay. And then uh, after that, what happened? After that, two guys came out and they wanted to fight me. So that's why I moved from over there to the escalator. Yeah, you 
Oh, me golpeé a mí. You despicable scumbag beta boy. There are so many more adjectives I could use for this idiot, but they may violate YouTube terms of service, so I won't. You got a street vendor who's just trying to make a living arrested because, what, she slapped you to get you out of her way? You are more than double her size. You could have just ignored it and went on your way. I bet your mother must be so proud of you. And upon further investigation, come to find out, your mother and your entire family were proud of you for getting this woman arrested. In fact, there is a history of your entire family harassing this woman. I will put a link in the description below to a video that covers that particular drama right there. But, for now, let's just move on to why he's called Swivelhead now. What up, what up? There's gonna be a lot of people in here. Seventeen. Um, I knew there was going to be a lot of people in this life. Hell yeah. Why is there a lot of haters though? Hating, hating. I just go outside, hey, Super 23 ends in my peeps. There's a lot of haters. I just go outside to film. Uncle Abe, what up? I just appreciate the things. People are think. what is it called? Just a quick update, everyone. There's a lot of haters. But they still keep watching my content. Everyone. Yeah, there were a lot of haters, and there were a lot of people looking for you. That's why your head was swiveling so much. Yeah, people don't much like it when you target some innocent person on the street who's just trying to get by, and then get them arrested. The continent. So people think I'm gonna stop recording. No, no, no. I'm gonna keep on filming. I didn't do anything wrong. That's simple, everyone. I'm gonna keep up continuing, 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 filming. It's police, then I'm gonna probably film, what is it called? Peak public servants of cannibal and everything like that. People don't understand that she attacked me. You were the instigator the whole time, dude. So it's understandable why you had to lay low for a while. And no matter how much you tried to justify it, there was one more insult to the injury. As I do every morning, I search through some of the most despicable 
despicable frauditors on the planet. And I usually start with Silence Boy because I hate him the most. But I couldn't find his account. I kept typing in Silence Boy First Amendment and nothing came up. So I went to my saved list that I keep and I clicked on it. And it says, this account has been terminated for violating YouTube's community guidelines. Finally, finally, ooh, we hit him in the pocket. Good. Oh, that poor thing. What's his mommy going to say now? She thought he had a good job at Wells Fargo Bank. And here he was frauditing all day, not cleaning his room. But alas, it was just a temporary ban. He came back a few days later. You lost a lot of street cred on doing that particular stunt. Even your own fellow frauditors called you out on that. That is why you were such... A swivel head at that particular time. Now, as far as I understand, the community got together for a GoFundMe and got her tens of thousands of dollars to help her out. So, there is at least some human decency left in this world. It's a shame you're not part of it.